Welcome to today's show. My name is David. Today I'm here to talk about this Wi-Fi system by Ray E, I believe is the name. Now they did some of this product for review, but they want me to show you what comes with this package. So let's take a closer look at it and I'll show you some specs. Okay, here's what you're gonna get in the package. You get a little card here, which is cool, and some warranty information, and of course a quick uh, installation guide. And this goes through how to connect it to uh, your routers. You can use it wired or wireless, which is really nice. Uh, there's a how to set up your routers and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that here in a uh, different uh, video, but I'm going to show you what's included. You do get a, um, a the cable, little data connect connection cable system, and you get a power supply. So you do need to plug this into power, of course. And then also you get the unit itself. Let's take a look at this. Uh, really cool. It looks a little funny now, but what we're going to do is we're just going to lift these up because these are the antennas. You can see that there. And then this swivels up and swivels up and they're, they're adjustable so you can move them different different angles and so forth. And again, what this is designed to do is be able to take that Wi-Fi signal and spread it throughout the house. Okay, here's looking at the back of the uh, unit here. There's the uh, little mesh system there, your DC uh, plug-in, your uh, WAN connectors, all your different connectors there to get your uh, your uh, Wi-Fi in there and then on the bottom there's actually um, little screw holes if you can see those down here that you can use this for mounting and that's pretty much it it's very simple it's lightweight but excellent quality okay down here they show some stuff here dual core flagship chipset that's the software the chipset inside of there 160 megahertz channel width dual WAN aggregation so the, the dual plugins there the uh, mesh 3.0 in exclusive gaming um, SSID on that. And on the back of the box, we have um, this is just kind of some information of um, about using for gaming. If you're gaming, you want to make sure you have fast Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, this talks about service interruptions, unstable wireless connections, uh, and high latency. So you want to make sure that this this here is designed for like gaming and that kind of thing. Uh, multiple routers connected through one mesh achieving full wi-fi coverage in a complex housing site so this is a, a wired mesh meaning you can have several different wi-fi extenders or a wireless you can connect them wirelessly as well so again this is good for up to 3,000 square feet so if you have a house that's larger than that or say maybe uh you have a nice little patio out in the backyard and you need to go out there to do some work and play games and whatever um that is what this kind of thing is designed for uh, and over here we have the combined wireless and wired wired speeds and so forth on here again this is made for uh you know gaming and high end uh, high speed wi-fi type of stuff now i'm going to show you some of the other specs here that this is includes in here there's there's a lot to it so i'm going to put it here to the side so you can see all the different specs that this thing comes with uh, setting up this ray e uh, router system this is a really really cool uh, wi-fi router i have it wired in right now to my modem so this is my modem connection here and i have it powered in that's all i need for this uh, particular setup okay once that turns green everything is set up here so again i'm on my, my wi-fi section here my cell phone and it says the right e uh, whatever that is uh, sign in required so i'm going to go ahead and hit that and it's going to check and it's going to give you this little pop-up warning here so i'm going to go ahead and connect that and what it's going to do is it's going to connect to the system here it's a quick little um access um i'm going to hit this button here for upgrading it hit configure Okay, as you can see, I have it set up on the regular uh, version of it. Now let's go ahead and we're going to go in and do speed test. We're going to do a little speed test here and see how well it does. Okay, really good. 846 down and 40 up. Hey, okay, now let's go to the game version. Let's try and do another test with that one and see if there's a difference. Okay, also pretty good. 850 and 40. Now, let's just show you the differences between my other Wi-Fi. Now, I'm sitting right next to this, so this is giving me the... It's, like, almost connected directly. I'm going to go do my uh, my David House, which is the, like, 2.4 gigahertz system. Now, the Wi-Fi and the modem is in the same room that I'm in now, so it's not very far from me at all. So let's just clear that and see what... The 2.4 gigahertz system will get me for speeds. 
Okay, not good at all. 50 and, you know, 49.7 and 26. So that one kind of sucks. Uh, now, now I'm going to go to my 5G. Let's get connected into the 5G system. Okay, a lot better. A pretty decent of uh, 595, but definitely not the 800 plus that the other, that this one gave me. Uh, that's my 5G wireless. Now, let's take all the Wi-Fi off and go to the cellular. I'm on T-Mobile. This is inside my house, 5G. Let's see what it does inside my house with just cellular and no Wi-Fi whatsoever. Better than the um, 2.4G, but not as good as the other ones at all. So just the cellular in here is not very good. So that's here in the house, and I'm sitting right next to it. But the, the advantage of this is being able to be in other rooms and so forth. I'm actually going to go ahead and walk outside, and we're going to record this outside in my backyard. I'm going to leave this here in my office, and we'll see how that does. Okay, if you could see me over here, I am way on the other side of my backyard. This is my backyard, and uh, the room that the um, Wi-Fi is in is kind of over by, not too far, it's just on the other side over here. It's on this side of the house, but it's 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 quite a ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it. Okay, so now I'm connected up to it. All right, now let's go ahead and run the speed test. Okay, well, as you can see, it download speeds of 687, so uh, a bit less than the 840 something, but not too bad being that I'm, I'm way outside. I'm at the farthest corner almost that I can in my backyard, and I can get really, really good Wi-Fi speeds out out here um, and just for uh, kicks and giggles let's go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi back off and I'm going to just work off the cellular well, since I'm outside in the backyard so let's just see I'm in the same spot of course and let's see what the cellular speeds are going to be back here well, it looks like it's going to be even a lot less than what it was like inside. Now, I'm, I'm sitting here on, it looks like it's a 4G. It's not even picking up my T-Mobile 5G for some reason. Let's go ahead and try the game one while I'm out here. Okay, well, there you have it. The game one, too, also is, is like five times better than than uh, T-Mobile sitting back here in my backyard. That's that's kind of depressing. But, hey, it's good news for the, uh, for the Wi-Fi extender thing. Uh, very nice. Okay, as you see, it is very simple and easy to set up, and, and that works really, really well. It actually worked better than my other uh, built-in Wi-Fi from the cable modem uh, that I have, and better than the cell phone service that I can get. So uh, if you are looking for a good quality Wi-Fi system for your house, for your whole house, or even into the backyard, this one makes the right one for you.